Hello there, everyone. My name is Oversoul. This is Oversoul Gaming. And welcome back to Danganronpa Extra Episode Ultra Despair Girls, also known as Diogd. Oh, okay. So we just got out of this, um, uh, hidden secret facility place, the Rebels Hideout. Uh, a safe haven for he people said to, to hide. go the opposite way from where we came. So that means we had to go this way then, I think. Because I think we came from the other way. If I remember correctly, yeah, there's a shiny way over there. But we have to go across this bridge over here to get it. But yeah, we met Shirokuma, which is a good Monokuma. Uh, well, remains to be seen, uh, you know, but, um, anyways, Shirokuma is, unlike the other Monokumas, is an AI, or a Monokuma with an AI in it, so it's sentient and self-aware, and, of course, I think I explained to you in the previous episode that Shirokuma is one half of a Junko AI that was created from her leftovers, um, hmm. in order to continue her legacy. And, you know, more on that later in the series. But for now, you should just know that there's two Monokumas running around with, uh, with an AI in them. And both of those Monokumas have one half of an AI that together makes up a Junko AI. And one of those Monokumas with the Junko AI hmm. in it is Chirokuma. And then the other one is, I can't remember if we met him in the last episode or not, it's, I've been, it's been a minute. Anyways, if you are not careful with my little sisters, oh, if you are not careful with my little sisters, Sixth Sense, the world may end, so we must be very cautious in how we treat her. Uh, let's see, so this is basically a, uh, a manga about, about... Uh, a guy whose little sister has a weird sixth sense, like a psychic ability, and it could cause the end of the world if he's not careful. I guess is what I'm getting. <sighs> th 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 this is it! This is number one! Hmm? Wh what do you mean, number one? This is not funny at all! Of all the books in the world, this refuse known as light novels is my number one most hated thing! No, I take it back. Light novels shouldn't even be counted as books. They're literally waste paper. No, not even. I wouldn't wipe my ass with this. Light novels are the worst waste of paper ever. Um... Well, I obviously don't read them either, but surely some of them aren't so bad. They say that taste grows over time, so maybe if you give it another shot... Don't mess with me! You couldn't pay me to give light novels another shot. <laughs> That's a pretty thorough hatred you have there. You said you don't read them either, right? That makes me think that maybe, for the first time, I can see you as a human being. Gee, thanks. Aww. W what did you see me as before? And? So, what kind of literature do you fancy? Postmodernism? Romanticism? You better not tell me you like Victorian novels with a straight face. Um... Um, I don't really know how it's classified. I'm just really into manga. <laughs> manga? That's not literature. It's not even a novel. Well, it's a graphic novel, and there's tons of different kinds. You should try reading one. <sighs> Collaborations from failed storyboard artists and English major dropouts? No thanks. Manga's a waste of resources, too. Just like light novels. Maybe worse. Hey, you can make fun of me all you want. But if you make fun of manga, you've crossed the line. I won't forgive you. Where did all this passion come from? Jeez. Well, I mean, reading manga is like my only hobby. I'm proud of the fact I'm well read. You don't like it when people make fun of the stuff you think is important, right? Don't mess with me. Don't you dare talk about novels and your little picture books as if they're on the same level. And you say you're more well-read than others? I bet that means you only read, like, one a week. I see through you. You're just a self-declared otaku. Oh. 
F -f for a high school girl, one a week is a lot. I have to buy them with my allowance after all. And what's important is the quality, not the quantity. It's about your love of the medium. You know what I think? I think your mind is trying to protect itself from that garbage. You're subconsciously only allowing yourself to read one a week. Two would probably kill you. Aww. Ugh, you're so frustrating. No one makes fun of manga. A lot of people make fun of manga. They're wrong, but they do it. And making fun of me for not reading a lot of them just because I refuse to buy used? Hmm. Yeah, your love of terrible manga is so gross. That's not it! They're not terrible! What's going on? Fine, but you're still gross. I'm glad I brought you along. If it wasn't for the fact that you turn into a serial killer with a lot of power, I would have dumped you in this... I would have dropped you into this fucking hole of... What the hell is that, anyways? It's definitely not water. Water doesn't look like that. What is this? What, what the fuck is that? Okay. Should probably hit up Lay Vending Machine real quick. I'm sure I got something like it. Uh, no, okay. I was hoping for bullets and I got a battery. Thank you, but no thank you. It was not Looks very like helpful. Looks like we can get out if we climb that ladder. Well. <laughs> Finally, at long last. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I hate sewers levels. And every horror themed game feels like it has to have one. <laughs> But you know, if you're gonna if you're gonna rip off Resident Evil, you might as well go all out, right? <laughs> it's weird. It's weird to me that there's like one game in this. This place is. Hold a on. Graveyard. Looks like it. It doesn't just look like it. It's clearly a graveyard. Yeah, look at the tombstones. This whole town is basically a graveyard anyway. At least this place buried the bodies. That's not the problem. I've had the ability to see ghosts ever since I was a kid. Oh, really? <laughs> if you like the occult, I know just the guy you should meet. Hero. She's talking about Hero. Yep. He's even more of an idiot than you. You'd really hit it off. What do you say? Well, well first we have to get out of here. This, okay, I will admit though, I really love the art style here. It's like weirdly cell shaded, you know, like a Borderlands game, but more cartoony. But the contrast of the red blood all over the blue tile is like a very, like, I don't, a very satisfying color palette. And I know that's fucked up to say about what is basically um, at least hundreds of bodies worth of blood splattered all over the place. But I'm being serious here, like the, the, you know, red and blue just go really well together like that. Also, look at the tree, like how it's all like red and sinister instead of normal looking and how the sky is all like a deep blood red, like evil is among us. There's a new like this is a well designed area, even if when you turn the camera, you can tell that that skull is flat, <laughs> you know, like it literally it's a cardboard cutout. Um, but anyways, uh, I forgot what I was going to say before that cutscene started. Oh yeah, it's weird to me that this is the only game in the whole franchise that is like... That is a third person, like a different genre of game style. I'm just gonna keep going instead of wasting my ammo. Like literally wow, every- this is quite a colorful street. I'm sure some pretty girl designed it. As literally every other game in this franchise is a visual novel, right? Like the first game was. This is the only one that's different. However, that being said, the the end of the Makoto the Makoto saga in this franchise is 
an anime. So you have a visual novel, a third-person survival horror game, another visual novel, an anime, and then another visual novel. And that's the whole franchise. I believe the term for that is transmedia, as in it transcends across different forms of media. That's what they call franchises that have canonical entries that go across different um, things. Like, if you have, like, a video game franchise that's mostly games, but there's also, like, maybe some books and movies that are canonical to the story, like Assassin's Creed, that's transmedia. That's what it's called. Um... Um, uh... are, are you okay? If my options are okay and not okay, I'm pretty frickin' far from okay. Hmm. Well, we're not exactly okay either. I don't think a single adult in this town is okay. Maybe, but that doesn't make me feel any better. Never expected something like this. I've been living here ten years. Ten years? You're from here? Then do you know why the children are acting like this? Who knows? Don't have a friggin' clue, but I know what they done. They, those kids, they killed my family and made a diorama with the bodies. Oh yeah, we saw that. <laughs> we saw a little what's-his-nuts, uh, Jasper? I, I forget. Um, we saw the video. We saw it the, with, the, with the dead body puppets. Hey. Can you imagine it? Yeah, we can. We saw it. We don't have to imagine it. We literally saw it. Seeing your family's bodies nailed to a wall next fixed in position with a wire and knowing you just have to just hide and watch them do it <sighs> you can't imagine can you that's fine that's normal you shouldn't have to imagine something like that your whole damn life shit so why why me I wish I could be normal again I wish I hadn't seen it what did I do what did I do to deserve this? Yeah, fuck the people who are dead. <laughs> it's all about me. Although they do say in some scenarios, the ones who die first are the lucky ones. It's the ones who survive that suffer. Like surviving an atomic bomb. Alright. That must be Toa Tower! What must be Toa Tower? Oh, that right there? That tall thing? Yes, it definitely is. Looks like we can just walk along the riverside. It'll not be as easy as you think. Alright, I'm gonna Drop use them knock in the river for efficiency. Knock back on these guys. Oh, Jesus Christ! Oops! I got blowed up and knocked into the river. That must be Toa Tower. Let's try that again. Looks like we can just walk along the riverside. We gotta watch out for Grenade Boy. Drop them in the river for efficiency. He'll cause us problems. Oh God damn it! Uh, it's the the controls suck. That part got really frustrating, so screw it. <laughs> we don't need to kill There's all of them. There's some weird machine lying here. For a world famous IT organization, Toa sure likes to make weird crap. Let's see, uh, hologram projector TV. Let's see, turn it on, a video of a child will appear. Um, let's see.
Okay, Why so it's a. Why don't we give moving that a try? It's a distraction meant to <laughs> kill all the tentacles in one go. All right. Stop powering and try moving that thing. See if you can uh, use it or not. Okay, yeah, I see. Amazing! A hologram. Look, Toko holograms. Jeez, you're awfully excited. Calm down, woman. Right, so I know what to do here. So we gotta use this like to get all the Monokuma's attention. And then... Ouch! Oh, damn it, I thought we had... Oh well. All we have to do is kill them all. We don't have to get it like A plus every time, you know what I mean? You get bonus rewards if you get them all at once, but it's not necessary. And I don't care enough to put that much effort in. <laughs> so. Let's see. The bomb inside her, too. Another one of these. Look, I'm not going to sit here and listen to these two argue about manga again. Uh, I, I, it is so. Oh God, it, it's tiring on my throat, and it's tiring on my nerves. <laughs> like, it's not important to the story, so it doesn't... I, I don't need it. I'm gonna try to save as much of my voice as possible for Danganronpa 2, because that one's a visual novel again, so I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to do that one like I did the first one. This one mostly has voice acting, so I was hoping for a nice break. Wow, so they just straight up put the bodies in the window to look at. Are they prisoner or dead? The hell? Frickin' weirdos, man. I still love that the when you pick There's up money, it, machine over there. it makes Sonic the Hedgehog ring noise. <laughs> Like, I know that the sound itself isn't copyrighted, but it's such a distinct noise that you, you, you recognize it immediately. There's no mistake in that. Monokuma with the shield again. I just have to hit it from behind, right? Oh, I know what to do here. So we got to, um... We gotta distract the bomb one with that thing and then use knockback to knock the bomb guy across that gap over to those and blow him up. Well... In theory, that's how it's supposed to work, but you've seen how that's ha how that's worked out for us so far. So. Okay, cool, we got it. I could use some health. Like, two hearts of it at least, please. Stupid kids. Now you're in the windows. Oh, and they're dancing- they're dancing on dead bodies. Uh, let's see, we found a, uh... Jitaro. Jitaro. I called him Jasper. What the hell is wrong with me? His name wouldn't be Jasper. This is a Japanese game. You ever heard of a Japanese guy named Jasper? Or Dave? No, no, it's always stuff like Jitaro and Makoto and uh, Byakua. Alright, so anyways, this is Jitaro's card. Uh, let's see. <laughs> the faces the demons make when I'm hunting them is seriously always the best. The very top of warmed milk is always gooey. When a demon is up against a wall, they always clench their teeth or open their lips slowly. But in the end, when I kill them, they always open their lips and shudder like crazy. Anyways, 
The sound of the bell that rings when you enter a store is so cute sounding, right? People who make those things must have a bad personality. People who make pretty or cute things have bad attitudes. Now that's important, more important than you think, because that actually ties into his childhood abuse and why he is the way that he is. Why he thinks that. On the other hand, I don't make pretty things. I make horrible dioramas, but my face and my personality is horrible too. Am I the only one whose tummy hurts when they smell rice from a rice cooker? I always knew it. It's always the best to attack from both sides when hunting demons. That way, even if they go left or right or go back, they always end up getting killed. The moment just when they fall into despair and know they are going to die is really always splendid. Alright. Wow, that hurt my throat. I don't know how the voice actor who plays him does it. Toko, we're almost at Toa Tower! I don't know how any of them do this shit. It's gotta be like... It's definitely training. There's a lot of training involved. And I'm a fool to think I could do this casually. Wow, there's some legs sticking up out of the water there. It kind of seems like the person just like dove off the building thinking they were going to land in shallow water, but nope. That or the kids just set them up that way. I don't know. Anyways, I'm saving my game like always because that's always a good idea. Why would you not do that? You should always do that. You should never not do that when you get the chance. All right. Especially in a game like this. Or RPGs where choices matter. So this is Toa Tower. It's amazingly huge once you see it close up. Huge is... is good. That's as if I'm being looked down on. Makes me all tingly. Just as I thought. You are definitely a strange one. Strange is putting it mildly. Oh god, it's him. Oh, he found me. Uh, uh, I put so much work into this disguise, though. <laughs> oh, I am such a coward. So cowardly, I have to resort to superior numbers just to beat up girls. Do you hate me now? If you say you hate me, I'll turn you into a splendid diorama. As the Lil Ultimate Art, I'll put every bit of my skill into it. <laughs> now would be a good time for Genocide Jack to come out. Before you do, let's do something about these Monokumas first. Gestalt wide open. Until I see my parents in Makoto, I can't die yet. Stop aiming at them. No, stop aiming backwards. God damn it, I'm trying to do this one. There you go, you idiots.
Alright, are we done yet? No. Just a little more, huh? God, how many are they sending at us here? Trying to bring her back. I forgot how to use her fever thing. Like, those scissors have been sitting down there for a while, and I, I've tried all the buttons, and nothing works. There's no more, right? That's all of them? Looks like that gross-looking brat has gone, too. He must have gotten away in all the confusion. He better not be waiting for us inside. Somebody is. Hey, don't you think this was that white Monokuma's trap? No way! Shirakuma wouldn't do that! Either way, this is definitely dangerous. Are you sure you want to do this? We have I no mean, choice. There's no place to go even if we turn back. And I don't know what else to do. So, if that's the case, the only thing we can do is move forward. <laughs> A pessimistic optimist. But why do you look like you don't want to do this? <laughs> well, what do you mean? I mean... You don't look like you want to go to Toa Tower. Are you worried about something? It's not like that. You're just thinking too much. I hope so. I'm gonna see, maybe there was a tutorial somewhere and I just missed it. Let's see. Let's see, uh, let's see, um. Yeah, I know about the batteries. Okay, so it's L2. You have to hold L2 and press the... Okay, you have to hold L2 and press either triangle or X. Now I know. Alright, I'll remember that. Make sure I grab this money before moving on. It is important for upgrades and such. Oh, and also, I need more health. God damn it. Not a single Monokuma has dropped a heart Was in ages. Was this place a sightseeing spot? It's usually the country bumpkins who visit towers like this. That's the kind of remark that will make you a lot of enemies fast. <clears throat> anyway, we gotta try to communicate from a high place to get above the jamming waves, right? So let's try going all the way to the top. See? If we use that elevator, we should be able to make it to the top in no time, right? We can try, but you know, things aren't that easy in games like this. You know there's gonna be some kind of rug pull. Eventually. All right, a little bit of everything I was looking for. Hey, welcome! All right, let's see. Gold! Okay! about equipping all that later another quick save before another close shave is that seems to be how things go around these parts all right now let's check the elevator which is most definitely not working and we're gonna be forced to use the stairs if I remember correctly 
But I think we gotta check the elevator first. Huh? It's not moving. Yep. Just as Look, I suspected. a card reader. Oh, looks like we need a specific card to activate the elevator. That's right. I don't have a card. Same here. If that's the case, then let's just give up and head back. <laughs> well, wait. If we can't use the elevator, we'll just have to climb the stairs. Uh, are, are you serious? You want to walk all the way up there? How many floors are there? If we climb and take breaks every so often, I'm sure we'll be all right. Jeez, I'm starting to think I liked you better when you were pessimistic all the time. Will there be Monokumas here, too? If you're worried, we could always turn around. There will definitely be Monokumas here. In fact, there is... This is one of those buildings where you just know there's gonna be enemies. Speak of the devil. <laughs> Ball Monokuma? Something popped out again! Seriously, Ball Monokuma? There's a missed opportunity there. B Ball Akuma was right in front of you. Ball Akuma was right there, and you went with Ball Monokuma. Come on. Uh, Ow. Who the hell made all these things? Well, he's not hurting me, but him spitting that garbage at me does affect my ability to see what I'm doing. So it's more of a distraction than anything. So those ball monokumas aren't like necessarily dangerous, they're just annoying. What should we do? We can't move on like this. Oh, looks like we gotta give up this time for sure. Oh my god. I told you, I'm not giving up. Let's try looking for another way to get up. No wonder they won't let her join the Future Foundation. She's just an intern. She doesn't have a Your spine. Persistence is starting to remind me of that other guy. Who, Makoto? The is a fish tank? Amazing! Oh, look at all the fish swimming around. Toko, you like fish? That is pretty cool, but also there's Monokumas coming at us, so shut up for a second. <laughs> Okay, this way leads to... Wait, can I open that? Oh, I can. And that leads to the stairs. I don't know if that's the way I'm supposed to be going, but... No, shit, not what I meant to do. Oh, these stairs don't lead anywhere. What the hell is this? MC Escher nonsense. All right. Well, I mean, you saw the shape of the building on the outside, right? It's definitely not structurally sound. It's very weird how they shape this building. Maybe it's better if we turn back. There's a shiny here before we move on. Future Foundation, the police. It was naive of me to rely on them. I don't know when, but I remember seeing an article about them. Future Foundation is connected with the mastermind of that incident somehow. So no one will save me. Nothing will save me. I'm at my wit's end. Just like my other co-workers, I'm going to be killed. It's hopeless. I can't do anything to stop it. They are coming. Man, Future Foundation has not been doing a very good Another job at protecting people. Like, literally, their whole point is to be a rebellion against the ultimate despair. You know, the ones controlling the Monokumas. And they, uh... Everyone seems to not like them very much. But, you know, there's more to it that... Thing, I think we can get all of them at once! There's more to it that you don't know yet. Oh yeah, if we use knockback on the ball monokumas, they work as sort of a bowling ball. And the other monokumas are pins. Very useful, actually. 
Yeah, yeah, I know about knockback. You don't have to tell me. We have to move so we don't get caught. One of them left the line and screwed it up. Of course they did. Where is he? Oh, I didn't even know they could go in. Still though, we got most of them with the with the ball Monokuma. All but one of them. I believe in bowling they call that a spare. Mannequins of Monokumas? Did the children do this too? Who knows? If this was the real world, I would be expecting to see that at, like, Hot Topic. I have not been doing very good at finding these, but whatever. If I see it, I'll grab it. But I'm not going out of my way for it. Those sparkles are really hard to find in some levels. Oh my god. Toko! Looks like we can go up from here! <laughs> no, no, I needed to grab the heart! I was wanting to try to god damn you! Thank you. I need that. Okay, I got the money though. Also, I noticed too when I got knocked down by that grenade, it definitely showed you, um. It definitely showed you her underwear briefly, and I'm like, come on now. There's fan surface, and then there's just like. Um, gratuitous misogyny. One of these is gonna be fucking real. And it's the one that's not on a stand. You see how some of them are on stands, but those two over there aren't? It's because they're real. Anyways, present. Oh, one of those just brought in more. Oh god, these ones are bloody. Alright. Although I do find it hard to feel any real sense of... of fear from these games, even though it's horror-themed, obviously, because it's a story about a bunch of murderous robot bears going around and killing everybody, but, like, I do feel a sense of panic when the Monokumas get close to me, similar to what you would from, like, you know, the zombies in Resident Evil. And, of course, there are some pretty decent jump scares in here, too. Oh, I missed a thing over there. Or maybe, oh no, that's when I go all the way around. Never mind. Perfect. All right. right, gotta go that way, okay. I am going to look and see what's in here though first. Oh, these are restrooms. Oh, 
no, they're locker rooms for the staff that worked here. Okay. Like, get changed into your uniform rooms. Okay, so this is... Ayaka Hanayama. Yama, yeah. Hanayama. Ayaka Hanayama, I think that is. Ayaka Hanayama. A well-known demon that it used to be in an idol group. It's a dangerous demon who makes boy demons fall in love with its sweet smell. Devours men whole. It has a temper because it always got put in the corner on stage. It's so super crazy now. That side of it is also kind of cute, though. So this is one of um, Sayaka. You remember Sayaka from the first game, the first one that died. She um, was in a in a pop idol group, you know, like a, she was in like a K-pop group or whatever. She was a pop star. This was one of her bandmates. Um, this was one of her, yeah, uh, one of the other members of that band. So. One of her former bandmates is one of the people being hunted right now by these kids out here. Now let's try the other one. Oh, wow. I like how we're so used to seeing all these dead bodies and children around that we, we see these kids playing Ring Around the Rosie around a pile of dead bodies and we just casually walk past it. Like nothing ever happened. Spiritual Detective uh, and the Ghost of the Dragon Place. It's a book about a high school girl who can see things that cannot be seen by others. And she receives a strange request. Um, and there's also a romance. Hmm. Well, putting aside the fact that I can practically smell how crappy this book is. Which reminds me... I remember you said earlier that you can see ghosts, or things that can't be seen. Hmm. Well, it's not really about seeing, it's more like, I just know. Like, I'm feeling a pretty bad aura in this place, so I know ghosts must be around. Uh, you sure that bad aura doesn't have something to do with the fact that there's a thousand dead bodies and Monokumas in here? What? But you can't see them! What makes you think you're sensing ghosts? In the end, you're just making an assumption, right? No, there was a time, just once, when I was able to actually see a ghost. Um... I was in third grade. I heard a strange sound in the night, so I woke up. I turned my head, and then BAM! My teacher from cream school was at my bedside. That's when I knew. It was the living spirit of my old teacher. What makes you think it was a living spirit, and not just a burglar who looked like him? No, the spirit knew my name. He kept whispering, Kamaru. Kamaru. And when he noticed I was awake, he apologized to me and asked me not to tell anyone what I saw. Ooh, that's not... I don't think... I don't think it was a ghost. I'm sure. My real teacher would obviously never do something like that, so it must have been his ghost. Doesn't he have to be dead for him to have a... Wow. And? And did you, um, ever see that teacher again? Well, that's the thing. When I went back to school, I found out he mysteriously quit. Spooky, right? Could it be? The teacher's feelings must have become a living spirit to say goodbye to me before he quit. Oh my god. Tomorrow, you naive fool. Yeah, I think he was probably just a trespassing sex offender. <laughs> Some teacher who gets off watching grade schoolers sleep. <laughs> no way, Toko. You shouldn't even joke about that. Your kind of genuine stupidity is even more rare than actual ghosts. Wow, that is fucking terrible. That's dark. Dark, but kind of funny, but really fucking dark and fucked up. I can't tell if I'm glad or Calm not down. that I didn't skip that one. If we one. fall from here, we die for sure. Why don't you calm down? Ouch. The hell? <coughs> Put the one behind us too. Okay. Hopefully it died after falling, but I doubt it.
<clears throat> we won't try to fool you with fancy words or say something you don't understand. Let's just be happy as kids. That's it. The demons aren't needed because they're selfish and treat children like they own us. Like we're just things to them. They think we do not have feelings. They lack imagination. We don't need them, so we're going to kill them. The paradise we build will be awesome. No parents, no chores, no school, no homework. There will be few rules, but that's it. Respect one another. Be good. Be so good that you will become a role model for others. When you feel that you are becoming a demon, kill yourself. Follow the rules and help build a paradise if only, of only children. Haven't we read that before? Or something similar to it? I know there's a bunch of those, but that one specifically it feels like I've already read. All the encounters we just had and shit we went through and stuff we found? Yeah, I'm definitely saving. Are you nuts? Alright. What's this now? <laughs> Challenge, there is only one real key. Will you be able to find the real one? So what, this is like an escape room? It's locked. Oh, jeez. So once again, we have to play along with these little brats. Yep, sucks to be us. <laughs> Probably a good idea to use detect around here. Yeah. I think it's just supposed to tell me which key is the real one when I shine on it, but... Oh, here we go. It's this one. Now we can open the door. And we can try anyway. Let's hurry and get outside. Not this key, huh? Hmm. Better think this oh, over. Oh, wait a time. minute. It wasn't pointing me try directly using to the key. A bit more. It was there okay. There's a hint around here somewhere. That's right. I remember what this is now. So Three life preservers over. The next one down will be the key. So, let's see, one, two, no. Okay, how about this? One, two, nope. We have to find where there's three life preservers in a row because the key will be at the end of them. Okay, that's, okay, now I, okay. It's not the preserver, you have to, it's, the arrow is telling you you have to look through three of them in a row. So you have to find a spot where you can genuinely look through all three of them, like this, see, like this, to the opposite wall. And it's the, the shimmer and glimmer that we see at the other end of this right here that is the key. So that's what it was. You have to look, you have to find a spot where you can look straight through now three of them. Now we can open the door. And then it's the key. Let's hurry and get outside. Yup. Finally got it. We're finally out. I wonder how much longer to the top. Too We're goddamn still on long. the third floor. At this rate, we won't reach the top if we had a whole day. Well, we'll get something figured out, don't worry. Look, stairs. That's a good sign, right? Ooh, a cutscene. <laughs> Who's there? <laughs> right. Horror. Horror game. Uh, wait a sec. You're not a kid, right? Y not yeah. technically. Ah, don't shoot! I swear I won't hurt you guys. He looks kind of then familiar, doesn't he? Then why are you in a place like this? 
It's suspicious. I was hiding. I figured the kids wouldn't find me here. And what's with the laptop? Oh, this? I picked it up at the city's electronics store. I thought I might be able to remove the wristband using this, so I was trying to program something. Wait, did you say wristband? Huh? Yeah, this. He's part of the game too. I got captured by this weird looking group of five kids, and they put this on me. I tried to remove it, but as you can see, that didn't work too well. I knew it. I'm the same, see? Ah, that wristband. Then you were also put into this cruel game? I see. I'm sorry. Is now really the time for that? <coughs> You're in the same boat, right? But if I had just figured out how to get this off, I could have helped you too. Did you know? With this wristband on, you can't leave the city. So oh, as we're long well as aware. we can't remove this wristband, we can't be saved. We've seen what it's happens going to when be you all try. Right. We'll be saved! What makes you say that? We're going to ask Future Foundation for help removing the bands. We came here to call them. Uh, um, what do you mean? Uh, oh, you want the details? Um, there's a special radio all over the city that's raspberry, and we use this thing. Wow, you suck. Oh, <laughs> the jammer. If we get to the top of this tower, we might be able to get through. You actually understood that? But all the way up the stairs, that's impossible. I know, but the elevator won't move. We don't have a card. A card? The elevator security card? Do you have it? Uh, sorry. It's not that. No, I... I can't really speak freely. Uh, well, maybe. What? Talk sense, damn it! If you want to move the elevator, I... Well, I might be able to do it. R really I've worked security before, so I figured I might be able to get around that card reader. But there's no way you'd believe someone you just met. I, I mean, I'm saying all this, but I can't even figure out how to get this stupid band off. That's not true. Please, we need your help. I beg you, please help us, mister. Huh? Well, okay, I'll try. Yes! Thank you so much. Seriously? You're really quick to rely on people. But what are you gonna do? If we're gonna move the elevator, don't you have to go back down? Well, it's better than needlessly climbing up more stairs, right? Let's do our best, okay? Shut up! I don't want you cheering me up. <laughs> Damn. You guys get along well. No, they exactly don't. Exactly why do you think that? <laughs> because he's living on the outdated notion that people who care about each other fight all the time. That's not true at all. Oh, we gotta take him all the way down to the elevator with us. Monokumas, be careful! We have to do the. Oh no! We just have to blow up this wall using him. That's right. It's a. We don't have to go all the way back. Yay! Now we can use the stairs. Hell yeah! That's an amazing gun. I've never seen technology like that before. Yeah. Well, don't get used to it. What a horrible fate. Real. Really you makes guys you feel are so the amazing. Fighting against the Monokumas like that. I'm impressed. Did I miss this the first time? It's not an exaggeration to say that my entire life up until now has been for the sake of Toa City. I admired Toa City's tech sector and dreamed of working in this town, and I've lived my whole life for that dream. And finally, finally, my dream comes true, and this is what happens. Why did it have to be here of all places? Why did it have to be now? 
Is the world doing this out of spite? I was supposed to test my skills in this city, but instead I'm running for my life. I wish I could take it back. I want my dream back. Nice. You're right. After everything, it just had to be here. Out of everywhere on Earth, it had to be Toa to end up like this. What? You seem especially upset about it. Did you have some kind of reverence for this place? No. It's not quite that. Didn't I tell you? I used to work in security. Well, I say security, but what I actually did was architect security system programs. For someone like me, this place was truly something special. Yes? Something special? You're right. Toa City leads the world's technology industry in both complexity and scale. There are tons of engineers out there who come to Toa City to test their skills. Which reminds me... You're right. I think I've heard that somewhere. I heard that the air purifier developed by Toa solved the toxic atmosphere problem. Huh. Interesting. But didn't Monokuma have an air purifier in the school? Uh during the events of the first game to make sure they could all breathe. Well, as you know, they were there before. The The school had the air purifier there first. Monokuma didn't provide that shit. That was already there when he locked them in. But that makes you question, where did the school get it from and who have they been involved with behind the scenes? More on that in the anime. But for now. Also. Also, Toa Goop group built advanced weaponry and shelters to fight against despair. So Toa City is special for that reason too. <laughs> but that's something I just learned recently. So the shelters, huh? So air purifier, shelters against despair. And this was of course after the apocalypse started, which we learned in the end of the previous game that all that started before they were locked in there. They just didn't remember because they had their memories erased, but the whole reason they were locked in there in the first place was to protect them from what was happening in the outside world. Little did they know that they locked two members of Despair in there with them. Could it be? If this city is so advanced, why isn't there a giant defense robot to fend off Monokumas? No. Um, I'm sure that any kind of weaponry was stolen or destroyed when all this first started. All right! Then nothing's changed. We gotta contact Future Foundation no matter what. Man, Toko really doesn't want to talk to them. What did you do, Toko? What did you do to make the good guys from the survivors from the first game hate you so much? What's going to happen at work from now on? I really hate myself for thinking about work at a time like this, but I wonder if Future Foundation or the police will come and eradicate the Monokumas by tomorrow. I hope so. If they don't, it'd be bad for me. I have my job to think about. All right, and with that in mind, we're gonna go ahead and save and call this the end of this episode. We actually made a lot of progress in this one, truth be told. Got some story stuff out of the way, saw a few cutscenes, killed a bunch of Monokumas, traveled to a new area. We're doing great. Um, but also, the character who's traveling with us now, you may be wondering who that is and why they look so familiar. So you remember Chihiro from the previous game, from Danganronpa 1, um, the, uh, the young lad who dressed up and pretended to be a girl? Uh, in order to avoid being bullied because he was so feminine. And, you know, there's a lot of uh, discourse among the fan base about whether or not Chihiro is, you know, like a boy, a girl, or, you know, this, or, um, you know, whether Chihiro is just a boy pretending to be a girl, or whether Chihiro full on identifies as female and is therefore transgender, or if Chihiro is non binary and should be referred to as they, them. So, in order to avoid any of that, uh, any, uh, controversy, I'll be referring to Chihiro as they, them. Which, I think, out of respect, is the best way to refer to them, um, because they are, you know, uh, both male and female, technically, when you really think about it, so. But anyways, Chihiro, you remember Chihiro from the first game? The, the guy traveling with us now is Chihiro's father. That's why he looks so familiar, um... You know, uh, the kid is a spitting image of their father. So, 
Um, so that's who's with us now. Unfortunately, I don't think he knows that his child is dead, uh, which is sad. But um, hopefully, uh, hopefully he'll survive. It's crazy to think that that a lot of the people that are in this killing game right now that these kids are putting on are f surviving family members of characters from the first game. You know, like Hina's brother and Chihiro's father and um, and uh, Hiro's mother, too. I think the one that we the the sassy lady with the cigarettes that we talked to that in the hideout Um that is, that I think that was Chihiro's mother, I believe. I always thought it was his sister because she seems so young. But, you know, sometimes people have kids young. It happens. But anyways, that'll be the end of this episode. Now that Chihiro's father is traveling with us, um, there is much more to come. So stay tuned for that. And uh, let me know your thoughts on this episode in the comments down below uh, and the game so far, of course. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, remember to click that like button. And as always, thank you all so much for watching, and I will catch you possibly on another day, definitely at another time, and likely in another video. Okay, goodbye.